Hi, I am Dr. Sudhendra, consultant pain physician at Bhagwan Mahavir Jain Hospital, Vasant Nagar, Bangalore. We are presenting a series of videos on common chronic pain conditions. What is post-herpetic neuralgia? How does it develop after shingles? Post-herpetic neuralgia is a common chronic nerve pain condition that develops after shingles. Shingles is also called herpes zoster and it is caused by the varicella zoster virus. This is the same virus that causes chicken pox in children. Although the rash is clear in children, the virus does stay dormant in the body for a long time and at an opportunistic moment, it causes shingles. These are nerve pains and can cause stabbing, stinging and burning like sensation even after the rash has healed. Who is at most risk for developing post-herpetic neuralgia? Although post-herpetic neuralgia can happen in anyone, it is most common in the elderly over 60. It is also common in immunocompromised, that is in whom the immunity is low, like in people with cancer or on chemotherapy or diabetics or people who are on steroids for other reasons. In these people, PHN is common. Also, post-herpetic neuralgia is common in people who have had their pain not treated very well in the acute phase and also in whom antiviral therapy has been delayed. What are the typical symptoms of post-herpetic neuralgia? How is it diagnosed? The hallmark symptom of post-herpetic neuralgia is a severe stinging or burning like sensation in the same area where the patient had shingles. The pain can be really severe and even simple things like the close brushing on the painful area can provoke pain. There is no blood test or a scan to diagnose uh, post-herpetic neuralgia and it is mainly based on the patient's symptoms and signs. How long does post-herpetic neuralgia usually last and when should someone seek medical help? The duration of post-herpetic neuralgia can vary. More often than not, it settles down in a couple of weeks after the rashes have healed. However, in an unfortunate minority of patients, the pain can last for more than four to six weeks, if not months and years. In case if the pain is going on for more than one or two months, it is important to seek medical help to consider appropriate pain management strategies because early intervention prevents chronicity of pain. What are the current treatment options available for post-herpetic neuralgia? There is no single cure for post-herpetic neuralgia. There is a variety of multimodal treatment strategies to get the post-herpetic neuralgia pain under control. Starting from simple nerve pain medications to topical nerve pain creams. In resistant cases, people might also need nerve blocks and sometimes advanced interventional pain management strategies like radiofrequency denervation and neuromodulation. Are there non-drug therapies that can help post-herpetic neuralgia patients? Yes, in addition to medications, there are a plethora of non-drug uh, strategies, some of which are acupuncture and transcutaneous electrical nerve stimulation. Also, mind-body approaches can help the patient cope with pain. How effective are nerve blocks or interventional procedures for post-herpetic neuralgia? The indications to consider interventional pain management strategies like uh, nerve blocks, epidural steroids, radiofrequency application and neuromodulation is when the pain is resistant to simple nerve pain medications. These are effective strategies to get the pain under control and get the patient back to normalcy. Can post-herpetic neuralgia be prevented? What role does the shingles vaccine play? Yes, the most effective way to prevent post-herpetic neuralgia is to prevent shingles. This is made possible by the shingles vaccine, which is normally taken in the elderly population. This vaccine is effective in preventing shingles and thus post-herpetic neuralgia. In the unfortunate event of already contracting shingles, it is better to start antiviral therapy at the earliest to prevent the occurrence of post-herpetic neuralgia. How does post-herpetic neuralgia impact quality of life and what support can patients access? Although post-herpetic neuralgia is not a life-threatening problem, 
The pain can be severe and debilitating. These can have not only physical but also psychological and social consequences. Patients can have anxiety, depression and frustration. Along with the multimodal analgesia regimen that we offer you, we can also offer you psychotherapy and support groups to help you cope with the pain. What's your message to patients suffering from post-herpetic neuralgia? To anyone suffering from post-herpetic neuralgia, please know that you are not alone. Our team of multidisciplinary specialists like pain physicians, physiotherapists and psychologists talk out a tailor-made plan for you to help you manage your pain and also your psychological and physical well-being.